Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In a couple of my more recent videos, I've talked about filming a video where I unfollow the makeup brands that I'm following on Instagram and I'm actually doing it. I'm doing that today. Because I'm not buying makeup this year, I really don't want to be influenced to purchase any makeup. I feel like right now I seriously have like no desire to purchase any beauty products anyway. I feel like it's not that big of a deal if I like see makeup, but I just don't really want it in my face anymore. Also, I really want my relationship with brands to change. Like brands are not your friend, brands are not my friend, and I just don't really feel like following them anymore. Another thing I need to still do is unsubscribe to emails. And I'm going to do that this weekend, but I'm just going to be focusing on unfollowing those brands today from my Instagram. I also have my Mr. Rudy here. Hey, Roots. Hey, Roots. Rudy's doing so, so well. He's a little annoying, but don't we, don't we like Chihuahuas that way? I really feel like I've done a good job just in the past because the way that I'm feeling is not new. Like I've been feeling this way for a little while. So I've definitely cleaned up my following quite a bit. Gosh, I really am like, what even do I follow? Maybe this is like in a certain order because I'm seriously like not seeing any. Bread Beauty Supply, I am going to continue following Bread Beauty Supply. I currently have a partnership with them through Instagram. So I am going to continue following Bread. I'm not as concerned about like skincare and hair care, but definitely any like makeup brands I'm unfollowing today. Okay, first up, Phytosurgeons. I am going to be unfollowing Phytosurgeons. I've never tried anything from this brand before. I know a lot of my like influencer mutuals really really love this brand i think that they make cute stuff yeah unfollow just gonna go ahead and unfollow urban outfitters carolinas this gel cream account i don't know who runs this i don't really even remember following this account but it's very very product heavy so i am just gonna go ahead and unfollow it kosis love my kosis revealer concealer but yeah i just don't need to be following I just don't need to be following them. So. Oh, follow back. Ooh, Troop or Trope Beauty. This was a clean kind of beauty retailer that I had a little bit of a relationship with a couple of years ago, but I don't, I don't ever see any of their, yeah, the last time they posted was August 6th of 2021. So almost like a year and a half they haven't posted, so unfollow minori beauty they have like blushes and a highlighter and a gloss their collection of stuff is really small i do appreciate that about brands when their collections are kind of small you know there's not a lot of excess so that's kind of nice about this brand but yeah i'm just gonna unfollow them next we have undone beauty undone beauty's had a few recent launches like these over here i kind of like so when I see something like this, it does make me wish I could try it for sure. But, oh, the, oh, I didn't see that. A little brow, clear brow gel. Okay, well, anyway, I'm unfollowing them. Just, yeah, don't need to see it. Ma Beauty, another brand I do really enjoy. See, like, the brands I'm still following on Instagram are brands I really do enjoy. Like, I don't think I'm following, like, Tarte or Urban Decay. Like, I, I might surprise myself. Like, maybe I still am. I have no idea, truly. But, yeah, like, Mob Beauty, I do enjoy them. And, like, I don't not enjoy makeup content, but, like I said, like, brands are not my friend and I just don't need to be following them. So unfollow. This is Propa Beauty. What do they do? I don't, I don't think I even know. Okay, unfollow. Look Fantastic. I've worked with Look Fantastic a couple of times. They're an online beauty retailer, but on following them. MTU NYC is a really, really affordable 
beauty brand. I don't know if any stores carry them in person, but I purchased my stuff from them online. I don't really use my stuff as much as I wish. I definitely really like the blush formula and I would like to use it more this year. But yeah, I'm gonna unfollow them. Milk Makeup, definitely one of the bigger brands. But yeah, we're gonna unfollow them. Okay, now I'm getting to more actual brands. So 14E Cosmetics, I've never tried anything from this brand before. I just follow it, I'm sure, because like the aesthetic and it looks like something I probably would like. But yeah, gonna unfollow, not not planning on trying it this year obviously pacifica beauty i like a lot of things from pacifica it's a you know great drugstore brand but we're unfollowing milani cosmetics really like up there with one of my favorite brands milani and elf are like my favorite brands but yeah unfollowing milani i follow the fur account which i don't need to follow them either haley's beauty i've never tried anything from haley's beauty before but definitely some of their products have piqued my interest in the past i don't know why i ended up not making a purchase but yeah well just go ahead and unfollow them tower 28 such a cute beautiful quality makeup brand i really enjoy a lot of their things their mascara is like one of my favorites right now um i love this sof spray but we are unfollowing there are no exceptions yuzu by you uzu by you something like that this brand has always kind of interests me too but i've not tried anything from them um and yeah I, I just i just won't be this year either so i'm following them get rael i worked with rael beauty a few years ago their skincare is really really quality and i do love those pimple patches those are like a staple stocking stuffer for me um but Yes, I'm unfollowing them. Exa Beauty, they're sold at Credo Beauty, Ulta Beauty, probably another one too. Um, oh, I guess they're sold at JCPenney. But yeah, I just have their foundation and I do like it. I don't really wear it that often and super unnecessary for me to be following them. Beauty Care Naturals, this looks like another brand I probably just followed because of their aesthetic but like i'm even looking at this and the packaging to me just looks a little cheap like I, how much are these products too they're probably not they're probably not cheap oh 25 dollars for eyeshadow palette that's like not too bad but it's a quad um but yeah unfollow integrity botanicals they sent me some kira weiss stuff to try a couple of years ago and honestly, I did not really like that brand. I thought that it was just not very good quality. I'm sure like the ingredients are fine, but the actual application and wear of those products, I was not loving. And the shades too, not loving them. And they're so, so expensive. But yeah, Integrity Botanicals is a clean beauty retailer but we just don't need to follow it. Citizen Cosmetics, this is another brand that I followed because I just liked the brand, but I've never tried anything from them before. So we'll unfollow them. I'm, I actually follow a lot of brands I've never tried anything from. I don't know why that is. We'll unfollow this Stargaze jewelry don't need to follow that coco kind i do love coco kind a lot they recently sent me this ceramide recovery balm that i still need to try but yeah even though coco kind is a skincare brand i'm still going to just go ahead and unfollow i follow stasher bag on instagram and i actually really do like this account i thought maybe i would unfollow them but i actually really like this account because it gives me so many good ideas for my sasher bags i have like a huge collection of sasher bags salt co they do period cups i do enjoy my salt period cup but i actually like my lena cup way better i really want to do an updated period cup video it's been over two years that i switched over to period cups and i love that i love them i will truly never go back but yeah i just don't think i need to follow them 
mister. You're fine. He hears the other dog. <coughs> Glow by Auric, Auric Beauty. This is Samantha Robin Doll's brand. I will probably not purchase from this brand. Seriously, Rudy? For real? I love Samantha Robin Doll. Truly, really, really, really do love her. I think that the brand is really expensive. Roots. Woody, you're fine. You're fine, mister. Yeah, I just think that the brand is really expensive and it has like no credibility except for the fact that it is founded by Samantha Robindahl, which sure that could be credit enough for some people, but like I just can't imagine this being a brand that someone just like in passing has no idea who Samantha Robin doll is would see and be like oh wow but I mean I think that I think that they're beautiful like like this is the products are are really really beautiful but yeah I, just, I also just think it's so expensive so we're unfollowing Jason Wu Beauty I recently made a purchase from Jason Wu actually I think that might have been like the last makeup that I bought because I bought it during Black Friday back in November and I would be lying if I didn't say I had a little bit of buyer's remorse from this just because like I knew I had been feeling the way that I was feeling about makeup but still because the site was 50% off I was like that's a really good deal. I've been wanting to try this brand for a little while and I bought a lot of stuff from them, but I didn't... Woody! Woody! He just jumped out of my arms. Oh my goodness. But yeah, just a little bit of buyer's remorse from this purchase. I just tried like a little bit of everything and I just don't think that that's super necessary. But yeah, did not really like any of the Ow! products I got. Shh. I swapped Rudy for Wilma. So yeah, I'm just gonna unfollow them as well. I follow the Goldie brand. They do like drink mixes and stuff. Um, yeah, I don't need to follow them. Just don't need to follow them. Era Perez Beauty. A few years ago, I was sent some Era Perez things and I did enjoy what I had, but pretty much everything that I've owned from them has gone bad. So yeah, that's the thing with Clean Beauty. Like, Clean Beauty kind of made the whole like preservatives and makeup is bad for you craze but preservatives and makeup makes makeup last longer like the shelf life is longer which means you can get way more use out of your product so I understand I understand the want and the need to kind of like create beauty products and like things that you put on your skin with more clean ingredients but i don't think that preservatives in your makeup are the enemy you know um i am going to be unfollowing them though luca and gray so something about me that you may not know is i am a huge aspen ovard fan aspen ferris i've watched aspen forever like ever since middle school we've pretty much grown up together we're like the same age i think she's just a couple of months older than i am but even though she has two kids now and usually that kind of like relationship with like someone online changes once they have like a family and kids i never ever feel that way about Aspen and she's like the only like family vlogger I watch even though I wouldn't really say that her content is like family vlogging content like her videos are not really about her kids they're still very much about herself even though her kids are in the videos which I can imagine that transition of like being a daily vlogger and then having kids and then like deciding what you show of your kids. I could imagine that being like a little bit difficult, especially because her following I'm sure expects to see the children, but she has said that she does plan on eventually not showing her children in the videos like as they get older and probably like start to develop actual like personalities and like consciousness. I do definitely respect that. Obviously I would love if she like didn't show her kids at all but even with that being said i think that her kids are adorable 
little Cove and Lola. But Luca and Gray is her brand. That's the whole, that's the whole point. And I am going to be unfollowing the brand. I, I made one purchase. I think I went, I think I made one purchase like over the pandemic. Yeah, don't need it. So I follow Sheer Text. They do like indestructible tights. And I own two pairs of them, really like them. I don't ever wear tights, but I know that like whenever I do need tights, I have actually really good quality ones that I won't need to replace. And yeah, I just don't need to follow them. I do follow Trend Mood. Oh, this is actually Trend Mood deals. Okay, we'll unfollow Trend Mood and then let's talk about actual Trend Mood. So I do follow Trend Mood. I know that that's extremely problematic of me. There really isn't like another instagram out there that posts as much new releases as trend mood does and i know that they also post new releases of really problematic brands but yeah still like they post everything like problematic and not and, like they post absolutely everything like they are the beauty news that's why I've, I've continued following them. I have unfollowed them before, but then I started following them again. But I am unfollowing them now because I don't actually need the beauty news. So I follow Suva Beauty. They do those uh, liners that you just like add water to them. And I have a really nice collection of these and I really like them a lot. But we are unfollowing. Mango People Cosmetics. Um, I've even gotten a few requests to review this brand. I definitely would love to try in the future. I feel like this would actually be a brand that I really liked, especially if I found like a shade that would be perfect for my lips and my cheeks. Really like products like that. And I think that a product like that is very worthy to be in my collection. Um, but I am unfollowing. And see LA Beauty, I just have one lip scrub from them. I have no idea why I follow this brand. OGL Move, this is a like clothing brand that I saw an ad for one day and I made a purchase. Um, and I like their stuff okay. I feel like, I don't know. I messed some of it up by putting it in the dryer, which is so annoying because, I don't know. I do hang dry a lot of my clothes now, but I really wish that clothes could just like could just deal with the dryer, you know? But yeah, we'll just unfollow them. Minted Cosmetics, I've tried a few things from this brand. I like the blush that I have, but we'll unfollow. LYS Beauty, I really like my bronzer from them, even though I haven't seen it in a long time. Their foundation is quite good. Um, it's not my favorite, but it's pretty decent. The blush is really nice. I wish I had a concealer in the shade that works for me. I have one that's like a little bit too dark, but that's okay. I have more than enough concealers. I don't need another, but unfollow. Lemonhead LA. I've never tried anything from this brand before. It's just super fun. Like looks like good quality glitters. Unfollow. Shantikai, I'm unfollowing. I really love my Shantikai bronzer. And like once in a blue moon, they'll send me PR. But yeah, they're so expensive. And I understand that like they are quality makeup. You feel it in the product. You feel it in the packaging. But wow, are they expensive. Amy Cole by Amy Cole. I've never tried anything from this brand, even though I have wanted to in the past. But unfollow. Oh, look fantastic. What was the other look fantastic that I was following? Well unfollow the lip bar i've never tried anything from this brand actually no i have tried something from this brand and it was a blush that my friend bb gifted me i think the color just didn't work for her and i recently decluttered it because the color doesn't really work for me either and um i guess the color probably would be fine but i just don't love how shimmery it is I don't really love like powder blush formulas like that. Unfollow. We've got ColourPop Cosmetics, the fast fashion of the beauty world. ColourPop is cute and all, it's cute and all. And, uh, and the quality is there, but seriously, like you do not need to come up with a new collection every week. You really, really do not. 
Danessa Myrick's Beauty. I knew that this was going to be a little bit of a hard one for me. A lot of the page is... Well, hmm. Do I unfollow? I'm actually... I'm actually going to continue following Danessa Myricks because this is more of like a makeup artistry page. Ulta Beauty. Should I keep following Ulta Beauty? I worked there for like two years. Nah, let's unfollow them. Elf is one of my favorite drugstore brands. It's actually probably like my favorite drugstore brand. I'm gonna unfollow them, but honestly, tag me if they release a product you think I'd like, just so I can check it out. I won't buy it, but just so I can check it out. Cause they are like on point with their launches. I pretty much want to try every single thing that they launch. Yeah, I'm just not going to this year. REM Beauty, honestly, what a joke of a celebrity beauty brand. Ariana, what are you doing? Sometimes it's okay to like not release a brand. Sometimes it's okay to not do that. Unfollow. Sephora. Unfollowing Sephora. If I was hesitant to unfollow Ulta Beauty, I am not hesitant to unfollow Sephora. We have Rare Beauty by Selena Gomez. This is a top-notch celebrity beauty brand, I will say, but unfollow. Oh, okay, well, that was it. That was all the beauty brands. Hopefully I didn't miss any, but I just went down my following. I really should have taken note of how many accounts I was following before this. I'm sure that honestly it'll be in the screen recording, but I was definitely following over 600 accounts and now I'm following 586 accounts. So yeah, we got rid of quite a few. That was nice and refreshing and I wonder how my Instagram feed will feel after this because a good bit of my feed is beauty and makeup but yeah i wonder if it'll like keep me from using instagram too often i don't know we'll just have to see i still need to go through my email list and unsubscribe to pretty much like every brand email clothing included because i actually don't need to see any of that i hope that you also take the time to go through your following list and just get rid of anything even if it's like not brand related, just get rid of anything that makes you unhappy to see and look at. I'm sure a lot of people still do this, but like it was very common to like just follow beautiful models, like perfect models on Instagram. But after a while, that really hurt me to see. Like it was really ruining my self-esteem and I went through and unfollowed like pretty much everyone that was like super unnecessary for me to follow and it really did wonders on my self-esteem so like even something like that I encourage you to unfollow anything that makes you feel bad or like just doesn't really bring you happiness like Instagram can totally be for the friends again but yeah I hope that you enjoyed today's video and you got something out of it even if it was just you know the enjoyment of seeing me chat about these brands but thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed if you aren't already subscribed definitely go ahead and do so and hopefully i will see you next time